This month's gift, Filthy Jennifer. <laughs> These children just put a bounty on my head. How old is Jennifer? Why are we not beating these children up? What, what is keeping us from doing that? November 1930, the funeral. to us. <laughs> well, we definitely got the red... Oh, God. They really got the red crayons. <laughs> All right. Okay. I don't know what I expected. I'm gonna get this... Please. Please. Brown. Thank you. Wakey, wakey. I think they did steal her socks. Damn. These children are ruthless. I can't blame them. The unlucky girl realized this was the old mansion. Unfortunately for her, despite the beautiful sunset, this was the unluckiest of days. Only the girl's silent companion saw her, as she suffered in fear. And so this day began. Alright, we got a red crayon. You recall the girl saying that red crayon is the mark of an aristocrat. There is something that I really do enjoy about this game is kind of like, um, is just the mixture of, I don't want to say like childhood innocence really, but more so just like the very childish, childish ways like we process things as kids. I don't know if it's towards Jennifer or if it's towards the other kids or what. young lady you decided to play hooky again come to my office later don't you forget i know when the strict teacher left the room the girl was all alone i pledge allegiance to the prince and princess i promise to love thy neighbor i shall offer a healthy gift i don't know if we're going the right way i'm gonna feel confident that we have enough stuff for this boss fight should i save beforehand yeah we're stacked on chocolate which makes me feel confident I mean, nothing can be worse than the mermaid boss fight, right? I don't know if that's true, but that's like how I feel. All right, so let's save. You dirty wretch. Why are you always trying to get out of work? Can't you do your job like all the other children? You're still here? Run along and help the others with their cleaning. Do I make myself clear? Okay. We're supposed to help other people right now? Sloppy Prince glanced away from the girl as if tiring of an old toy. No matter how kindly she smiled, she was all alone. What a poor, unlucky girl. The gluttonous prince glanced away from the girl as if she served cold soup for supper. No matter how hard she cried, she was all alone. What a poor, unlucky girl. Can we leave? Nope. Oh. Rude. Jennifer picked up a crumpled piece of paper that was thrown at her. It reads, liar. I feel like it's more realistic that it would come from upstairs than a hallway. So this is how the orphanage normally looks, question mark? Like, I guess what I'm curious about is like what the different senses of reality are. Because even on the airship, all of a sudden, like you would exit part of the airship and you would be outside or somewhere else. What is wrong, child? Even though the girl tried to comfort her, the tearful princess cried even more. In the end, the girl was all alone. What a fragile, unlucky girl. All right, sorry for harshing your vibe. So he's like exploiting the children to work. This orphanage. That seems very 1930s. Child labor laws hadn't been invented, I don't think. I don't know when, ch when did child labor laws get invented? 
The day, the day after, and on, she was all alone. What an unhappy, unlucky girl. All right. Kara. Is he the one that was in the mermaid scene? Yeah, he was definitely in the mermaid scene. Is this gonna be unsavory? Can I kill him with my axe? This isn't gonna show something that. Oh, okay. I'm still not happy, but dear lord, was I scared for a second. That was gonna be a Twitch ban in the making. Where's your bird? Where's Sir Peter? I like your bowl cut. No matter what the unlucky girl said to her, the cold princess simply stared up into the sky. The poor, unlucky girl realized that she was all alone. This game has had some questionable stuff. Ow. Will you stop it? Jennifer picked up a crumpled piece of paper that was thrown at her. It reads, I'd be ashamed if I were you. I'd love to be ashamed at this point, because... Maybe if I was ashamed, I would know what I did, and I would know what was happening. <laughs> the woman of the hour. Filthy wretch. Rude. I sit here and remember your name, and you insult me? The unlucky girl spoke to the cleaning queen, yet her reply was the same as always. Dirty wretch. All right, well, you're not too hot yourself. Every day and all the time, she was all alone. What a woeful, unlucky girl. I get it. Being alone is hard, but all of these people are terrible. So I think I would rather be alone than deal with these people. <sighs> no matter what the unlucky girl said to her, the strong-willed princess only gave lethargically. Sleep or awake, the girl was alone, but a sad, unlucky girl. <laughs> Apologize by dying. I don't think I will. And is it just because we're like the, not the odd one out, but is it just because like we joined the orphanage, got sent to the orphanage like later? The behavior of the small hearted princess concentrating on her chores seemed far so unnatural. The unlucky girl became sad and then she was alone again, but a hapless unlucky girl. It reads, you get what you deserve. Like, do they just hate me because I get adopted or something? I don't know. I'm very curious to see what happens. The two princesses didn't let the unlucky girl join their conversation. Whenever she went, wherever she went, she was all alone. What a lonely, unlucky girl. Oh, you guys are rude. Damn. Who keeps throwing crumpled paper at me? Your mom's a hoe. It reads, come to the hall. Okay. All right, I'm at the hall. No, they're really dirty. Sparkling clean. It's almost time for bed. Diana, Elena, Xavier, Meg, Susan, Nicola, Thomas, Clara, Olivia. Be thankful for this wonderful day and let us pray for an even better day tomorrow. Okay, so maybe they weren't being abused. Maybe this was just you have a good Well, they were being abused. But like maybe this was just regular cleaning. I don't think I heard my name. <laughs> this month's gift, filthy Jennifer. <laughs> These children just put a bounty on my head. How old is Jennifer? Why are we not beating these children up? What what is keeping us from doing that? Time to run. Oh, what's this? 
The rat stands in your way. The pig stands in your way. The goat stands in your way. It's Wendy! Our only friend. Okay, we have to get to Wendy. I know, we are I'm finishing up this game, so... A lot of people. Okay, here we go! Found a pig. Oh, pig bought me. Okay, one pig is down. Sweet. We're getting there. You don't need sleep. It's healthy to stream 20 hours a day. Thank you, Dr. Dodo. I appreciate that. Who wants to get an axe to the face? Okay. Looks like our terrible hitboxes are back. Hold on one second. I need to get through this. Wow, we are burning through health like no other. I don't really know what else to do, though. We're almost there. Okay, so now that's dead. That doesn't quite work because clearly, like, Jennifer's story matters. Things kind of sound like Jar Jar Binks. That was the easiest one. We should be good to open the door now? I still don't know if, if it's like two of each, but... Okay, the rat stands in your way. Pig stands in your way. So we do need to kill two of both. Hello? Oh, there you are. Stomp him. Brown... Oh, I was about to say, Brown, if you could just keep the pig. I can take the sheep, but Brown cannot. Oh my gosh. I hate that attack so much. Please be dead. Sweet. Oh shoot. Can I still give Brown healing items? Up and out of Brown. Please be dead. Okay. So now we only have a rat. Okay, here we go. Oh, you can throw chairs. All right, that seems unfair. Oh my god. Okay, that is a big old bird. None of you are rats, though. How much freaking health can you have? Okay, it's dead. Unfortunately, that wasn't a rat. Listen, I wish I could just take a chair and hit them with a chair. I don't know why they get to hit people with chairs and I don't. There it is. Oh God. What, what did you clip? I'm so curious. All right, here we go. It's grotesque. Wendy! Is Brown your dog? Brown seems to know you. But this is your new friend, huh? It's so filthy, but so adorable. Oh, yes, Jennifer. There will be an aristocrat meeting club. Club meeting after this. Wendy, I didn't know you were a part of it. Today will be the most wonderful day. I hope you enjoy it. Don't know how to explain what Nuzlocke was to me. I didn't know what it was. All right. Written time. The funeral. Once upon a time, a girl found a hole in the ground in the yard. The little people came out and told her the news. Today is the day of your funeral. If you don't like it, then you must sacrifice your friend who wants to be buried alive. So the girl did what she had to do and buried her best friend. I would not be her best friend. Oh no. When the girl finished reading the storybook, the dreadful imps had all vanished. Oh, that's the first time we hear them called imps. And even her dearest friend is nowhere to be found. And then the girl thought she heard the cries of her friend calling for help. This time the girl was certain it was her friend calling for help from above. It's not the girl's dear friend. What happened to him was he... Because of the frightening images in her head, the poor girl was in nervous wreck. Oh, that did make me nervous. 
Um, the girl could hear a friend calling from help from behind the door. Come here. Not the girl's your friend this time either. Something terrible has happened to him. Those are the frightening images in her. The poor girl's a nervous wreck. This is trippy. Green tools with best butter lying on the table. Oh, that's a great question. This month's gift, filthy brown. No. Why are the gloves bloody? Maybe they're doing some dentistry work. I'm going to kill myself. Nobody was going to tell me. No one was going to warn me. Please say that this is fake. That was some, that was literally the cruelest trick this game could have ever played on me. Horrific. <laughs> a banned game, a banned PS2 game that's worth $700. Okay, everybody shh, I'm nervous. <laughs> So Wendy's the queen. Your friend is in the back. It's too late now. <gasps> oh, he is dead. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm still actively being fooled. I don't know what's happening. Finally, finally, we're slapping some children. Liar. Go away. Finally, go away. never forgive you. Not ever. And as for the rest of you, how could you believe all those lies? Aristocrats, you're just the opposite. I hate you, and I hate you, and you. And I hate myself the very most for playing your stupid games and not having the strength to stand up to you. It's all just hideous. Oh my god. She literally had the pendant on the whole time. I think they just killed her dog. That does not fill me with joy.